the mythical city of El Dorado. Countless writers throughout history have spoken of a city of gold and jewels named after its ruler, a king so wealthy that each morning he showered himself in gold dust. But countless expeditions throughout the New World have yet to authenticate this city's existence. However, with the discovery of gold in Ghana's hinterland, the legend of El Dorado lived on in the psyche of the English-speaking world. Unfortunately, reaching Ghana's land of gold was a death-defying task. That was until the construction of one of South America's oldest modern suspension bridges. Located in the heart of Guyana, the Denim Suspension Bridge became the crucial link on the trail to Ghana's gold fields. This is the story of the Denim Suspension Bridge, the bridge to El Dorado. Greetings and welcome to Season 2 of For the Culture Guyana. A couple of our viewers ask us to feature the Denim Suspension Bridge. Since you asked, we listened. Today, we will learn the story of Guyana's first suspension bridge. Before we get into that, do yourself a favor. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button so you can continue to receive more interesting facts about Guyana. The administrative region of Potaro Siparuni. Situated in Guyana's hinterland, it has long been a source of wealth for many fortune seekers the world over. Since European explorers first arrived in the 16th century, this area was one of several assumed locations of the city of El Dorado. Despite never finding this lost city of gold, thousands of Guyanese and foreigners alike have made their livelihoods on mining in this region. Fast forward to the mid-1800s. Slavery has ended. But conditions were still difficult for many Afro-Guyanese as the only jobs available for them were low paying. Fortunately, with emancipation came the freedom of movement. Encouraged by the possible fortune that could be made through gold mining, many of these men left their villages, some as far as Berbice, to work in the hinterland. However, success was not universal. Miners spent months and sometimes years working in the gold fields to bring back enough gold to justify their long absences from their families. But in the years to come, more and more coastlanders began to call the hinterland home. In 1841, a group of Christian missionaries founded the settlement of Bartica at the confluence of the Esequibo and Mazaruni rivers. Because of its location, it was dubbed the Gateway to the Hinterland. Then in 1884, a group of Afro-Guyanese miners founded the settlement of Madia several miles up the Pataro River in present-day Pataro, Siparuni. By the late 19th century, the British Consolidated Mining Company expanded their mining exploration in Madia and established several colonial administrative offices. Nevertheless, the area was still only accessible by boat. That was until November 1933 with the construction of the Denham Suspension Bridge. The bridge was named after Sir Edward Denham, who was the colonial governor at the time. It is sometimes called the Garraway Stream Bridge because it spans a part of the river known as the Garraway Stream. But it has a third name. If you know what it is, tell us in the comments. Located almost 120 miles from the capital of Georgetown, the Denham Suspension Bridge crosses the Pataro River. It is the first suspension bridge in Guyana and is among the oldest modern suspension bridges in South America. At 86 years old, it is arguably the oldest vehicle bridge still in use in Guyana. The bridge is supported by two concrete towers and 14 iron cables that are anchored into the rocks on both sides of the river. The bridge is also relatively narrow. Its wooden deck is only wide enough to accommodate one vehicle at a time. It was designed by John Aldi, a Scottish civil engineer and general contractor. Although the bridge is a fine piece of engineering, there seems to be no records of Aldi having built other structures. According to one source, Aldi was buried in Bartica, suggesting that he was a British colonist and not just a visiting engineer. 
Despite the bridge's age and past importance to the economy, few people outside of the hinterland know of its existence and fewer still have written of it. The bridge and subsequent trail linked Bartica to Madia, which greatly eased the difficulty of reaching the region's gold fields. Remember how I said that the trip to the hinterland was a death-defying one? To put it into context, the Pataro River empties into the Atlantic Ocean by way of the Essequibo River, but dangerous rapids prevent ocean-faring vessels from navigating far up river. Cargo ships had to travel over 60 miles up the calmer Demerara River to the Wismer shore where they unloaded their cargo onto waiting trains that took them to Rockstone located on the Essequibo River. From there the cargo was loaded onto a smaller boat that sailed upriver to Pitaro Landing and finally a relatively short distance by trail is Maria. Thus the bridge and the 111 mile trail allowed land access to the region through Bartica. This triggered a wave of migration to the area. In the decades following independence, a trail was constructed between Linden and Letham. Soon after, a branch of this trail connected back north to Madia. This lessened the importance of the route through Bartica as there was now a direct land route from the capital. Nevertheless, the bridge stood in place as nature slowly began to reclaim the land surrounding it. By the beginning of the 21st century, it became obvious that Guyana's only suspension bridge was in serious need of repair. According to official records, the bridge was closed to traffic for years because of fears of collapse. But if you'd like to visit the site today, have no fear. In 2016, the government of Guyana allocated funds to rehabilitate the trail and bridge. Finally, in January of 2020, both the bridge and the trail were reopened to traffic. However, the Ministry of Public Infrastructure noted that the bridge can only accommodate loads of up to 10 tons, meaning no big trucks allowed. So that's a brief history of the Denim Suspension Bridge, the bridge to El Dorado. A big thank you to Dimitri Alacoc for much of the writings and photos of the bridge. He's a great source of interesting historical facts and cultural artifacts of Guyana. We'll leave a link to some of his work and the other sources we referenced in the video. If you'd like more information about the bridge, including how to actually visit it, you can check out the link to our website. And all of those links I just mentioned are in the description of this video. If you liked the video, hit the like button and let us know what you liked about it in the comments. Also, I challenge you, if you have any friends in Madia or you just happen to be in the area, snap a photo of the newly rehabilitated bridge. We will be sure to feature your photos on our Facebook page. And finally, share For the Culture Guyana's videos with all your friends and family so they too can learn interesting facts about Guyana. Until next week, thanks for watching and do it for the culture.